Hey there guys, I hope you are having a fantastic day because today we're going to be shaking things up and as much as it pains me in some ways to make a video that is not about Metroid Prime 4 Beyond, there is another game that I am very excited to talk about. I referenced it in my last Metroid video the other day and it has to do with the recent Nintendo Direct, the very same one that gave us the re-reveal of Metroid Prime 4 and it is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. So I've joked about this a few times on my recent YouTube videos and quite a bit on Twitter. The fact that everything else in that Nintendo Direct has been completely overshadowed in terms of my own perspective when it comes to Metroid Prime 4. I have complete Metroid Tunnel Vision. It's the only thing I care about right now. It's the only thing I cared about from that Direct. Well, okay, let me dial this back. It's not the only thing I cared about because clearly it's the reason I'm making this video about Zelda today, but I care about it so much more than anything else that, like I said, I've got that Metroid Tunnel Vision. But here's the thing, this new Zelda game, Echoes of Wisdom, is a massive reveal. There is controversy, there are mixed opinions on whether or not this is the right direction or not. I understand those mixed opinions, and I have a few reservations as well, and I'm going to talk about all of that in terms of my own opinion today. But regardless of if you think this looks great or terrible or somewhere in between, the reveal of this game, the first Zelda game to ever star Zelda, Okay, not including the CDI game, but the first officially released Nintendo Zelda game that is going to star Zelda. Huge, huge announcement. And so, even though Metroid Prime 4 is the big headline grabber from that show and the most, most important thing happening in gaming right now, this game is also huge, and I really can't wait to kind of dive into my own thoughts and perspective on this with you today. It's interesting, you know, because this Nintendo Direct is being heralded as one of the best Nintendo Directs ever, and I'm a simple man simply because of seeing Metroid Prime 4 gameplay and the re-reveal and all that stuff. I tend to agree. I, I, I joked about it in my last video. It's basically a 10 out of 10 a Nintendo Direct, from my opinion, simply because of Metroid. Um, all things considered, though, if I'm being honest, uh, there was only like three games. If I just step away from my Metroid nerdy fanboyism, uh, there's only actually three games from that whole Direct that I was like, I will buy and play that game. And one of them, of course, is Metroid. One of the other ones is Zelda that we're going to talk about. So it's interesting to have a 45-minute Direct where there's only three games I personally want to play. But I will say that I think, you know, I'm capable of stepping outside of the lens of my own opinions and tastes, and when I see it as a full direct at this phase in the Switch's life, yeah, it was a really strong direct. Announcing a new Mario and Luigi game, obviously a huge deal for fans of that kind of Mario game. Um, there was a lot of other RPGs, there's a huge RPG fan base on the Switch, so they clearly did really well from that perspective. There was a lot of pretty big exciting games for a lot of people. So here's what I want to do with you guys, just like I did with the Metroid Prime 4 trailer. I'm going to watch this in real time with you guys and just kind of talk it out as it goes. So, of course, we open here on what was pretty obvious to me, a Zelda game. Uh, and then, of course, we see Zelda's trapped, Link throws off his hood, and we're like, okay, is this another, like... It's not a Link's Awakening sequel. We kind of know the timeline. Is this is this a different remake? I'm not familiar with the Oracle games, so they're actually the only two Zelda games I'm not familiar with. So I was like, is this the remake of those games that we've been waiting for? Once this started to happen, though, with this rift and everything, I'm like, is this something brand new, maybe? Is this a new Zelda game? You know, I even initially thought maybe this was the Minish Cap, but I realized pretty quickly it wasn't. Zelda's freed, she's running away, and at this point, I started to wonder, is this game going to feature Zelda? Obviously, we're using the Link's Awakening remake engine, and then we get to this moment, too, where she's running up to this amazing shot of the Hyrule Kingdom, and I'm like, this is a Zelda game where we're going to play a Zelda. This is the game. Echoes of Wisdom, here's the title. And I was shocked, you guys. I didn't share my reaction or anything to this because Metroid was most important. But as this happened and Aija Numa steps up here to start talking to us, I realized this is a big deal. I love the top-down 2D Zelda game style. So I don't mind that even for the first game to star Zelda. Look at this shot, you guys. This is beautiful. I'm so excited for what this is going to be. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a fan of the 2D top-down games. I love the Link's Awakening remake. 
And I think that this style, which I think is like a blend of A Link Between Worlds and the Link Awa Link's Awakening remake, is great. It's a fantastic art style. And so Aonuma's now addressing us and he's talking about we're going to the top-down perspective, we're going to let you star as Zelda, but is she going to fight with a sword? You know, these are the questions we had is are we going to be able to, to play with a sword? What is it going to be like to play a Zelda in this game? So now we're seeing the world. We're seeing these rifts that's kind of showing us that Link has disappeared. And Zelda is meeting now this character, Try. So I like to see that we're going to have another Zelda game where you maybe have a companion with you. It's been a while since we've had one of those, right? And this is great. She's using the, the what is it, the Try staff, the Try, the Try rod. Uh, I maybe missed what it was called again. And so now we're starting to learn, okay, we're creating echoes of items in the world and we're seeing her make this table. So I was obviously like, okay, interesting. Not what I was anticipating, but I was keeping my mind open. Seeing her use it to platform and jump up that ledge like they just showed, very cool. She's making a box. She's making a bed. <laughs> she's grabbing little water cubes. That's interesting. And then we see this kind of a mechanic where she's climbing up water. And you're starting to realize how this mechanic can actually work in a really fun, clever way. They show us the menu here where you can pull up the menu to select items like this, like this trampoline. And I'm like, oh, this looks just like Tears of the Kingdom. This is, they're kind of borrowing that that uh, UI from Tears of the Kingdom to select all these different things you've learned that you can create with the tri-rod. Um, now the combat they're showing us here where you're picking up a boulder, you're creating monsters to fight for you. You know, at this point I was, I was like, ah, do I like this or do I not like this? I don't know. Seeing her swim here, by the way, love to see that. Um, seeing her create food to attract enemies. She's creating piranha plants. It's all very interesting. Back to story stuff. We're seeing the elements change. I like seeing the rain because this is something I very much want out of these games. Uh, look at this. We've got a lava temple thing. All sorts of stuff. So I started to just really, really think. I mean, we get to see a great Deku tree. Very cool stuff here. And so I just started to analyze, do I like this? Do I not like this? I love playing a Zelda. I love the art style. Do I like the fact that she's not going to be running around with some kind of a traditional Zelda combat as far as we've seen? I don't know. They're talking about all these combinations of things you can do and all these echoes you can make. And even Aonuma himself hasn't tried any everything. Um, it's, it's exciting, but it's also so different from what we expect from a Zelda game. It's like, this is either really great or it's really, really weird. So yeah, I did my best to kind of convey the range of emotions I was going through and the range of thoughts and opinions I was going through watching that for the first time. Most important things were, I love that we finally have the game starring Zelda that we've all wanted for a very long time. And I am completely satisfied and happy with it being a 2D top-down game and also building off of that Link's Awakening remake engine that, like I said, I think is also kind of was, was an evolution in and of itself of the A Link Between Worlds engine, right? Just moved onto consoles with better, with better power and hardware. So I'm okay with all of that. Now, if I could have picked the Zelda-focused Zelda game that I would have wanted in my mind's eye, it would have been something more like a traditional 3D action, you know, Zelda game. Only you're playing a Zelda. And yes, using a sword, but maybe other items we've never seen in the Zelda universe. Yeah, that probably would have been my preferred style. But at the end of the day, I'm not that picky. Zelda is my second favorite franchise behind Metroid. So I love seeing what they're doing. I'm all about the art style. I'm all about playing as Zelda. And on its surface, I'm very open to and excited for the the Echo the Echo Tri Rod. I'm already forgetting what that damn thing is called. What is it called? The Echo Rod? The, the thing that she's using, right? I'm all about that item and uh, and the idea of creating echoes and using that to traverse the land of Hyrule in a unique way. So the question again comes back to, is this really the Zelda-focused Zelda game that the larger Zelda fan community and gaming community has been waiting for? Does this really deliver on what a lot of us have been wanting? And so you've kind of heard me say that you know, from my perspective, is it delivering on what I was wanting before I saw the trailer? No, I just wanted a Zelda adventure action game where, yes, I'm playing as Zelda, but I'm still 
I'm still maybe playing it as more of an action adventure, like most Zelda games. Uh, but now that I've seen it, I'm totally open-minded. I like the direction they're going. I appreciate that it's got its own unique flair. And I'm extremely open to it and definitely excited for it. But when I talk about the larger, you know, community or larger Zelda fan base, I think that it's fair to say, um, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to speak for anyone. Obviously, I've seen the range of opinions out there and a lot of people who are maybe not thrilled with it and it's not what they wanted. And so I think from that perspective, you could say that maybe, no, this isn't exactly what people have been wanting. And I'm not making a claim on whether it's correct or incorrect for people to feel that way. That's not what I'm saying. You've heard me say I'm excited for it. But I, I can understand that, you know, they, they, they've taken some big swings here. They're changing it in a way that no one expected. And someone can maybe even feel cheated that the first time we get to play a Zelda, she doesn't even get to be a kick-ass warrior running around with a sword and bombs. Well, I guess she's probably going to use bombs in this game, but you know what I mean. She's not going to be running around with a sword and shield just kicking ass and taking names like Link does. It's like, why can't Zelda be an awesome warrior as well? And so I understand maybe it, the, some of the complaints from that perspective. Um, and, and so, yeah, is this the game that people have been waiting for? I think that no, in a lot of ways, it's not. And, you know, I'm going to continue to kind of double down on what I've said a few times, you know, again, from my own perspective. There is a different version of a Zelda-focused Zelda game that I did want more than what this seems to be. And again, this is before I've played it. It comes out in September. It's not far away, so I'm really excited I get to try it soon. Typically, a game using these kinds of mechanics would not be exciting to me. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime is a good example where they they took something from a well-established Nintendo universe, the Mario universe. We're playing as a different character than Mario or Luigi, and the gameplay is extremely unique. Now, they've experimented with gameplay styles in Mario a lot compared to Zelda, so it made a lot more sense. And that is a game where I saw what it was doing and all the different gameplay genres and minigame stuff, and I was like, you know... I like Peach, but this isn't for me, so I have not played it. It just didn't appeal to me. This game, in a lot of ways, falls into that same category, but I'm still excited to play it for two different reasons when I compare it to Princess Peach Showtime. One is the fact that, at the end of the day, it's Zelda, and so simply because it's Zelda, I'm not going to say no, because I love Mario as well, but I, I'm a bigger Zelda fan than even a Mario fan. The other reason is, unlike Princess Peach Showtime, Echoes of Wisdom chose its one quirky, weird gameplay spin, and it seems to be focused on just that one thing. Princess Peach Showtime is doing a lot of different things, and for some, for some people that might be great. There's no doubt that having a variety of gameplay styles is a good thing for a lot of people. I personally don't want a game that's doing a lot of different things very small. I want it to do one thing very big, and so I see from this trailer that Echoes of Wisdom is doing its one thing very big as opposed to many things in very small sections like Princess Peach Showtime. And so ultimately, I'm making this video to say that I find myself in a strange position when I analyze maybe how the gaming community is reacting to this game. Because I'm excited for it, I'm open-minded, I think it's going to impress me. Nintendo and Aonuma, they don't really mess up Zelda games. In my opinion, I know a lot of people don't like Tears of the Kingdom, whatever. I freaking love that game. That game is a masterpiece to me. So I don't think that they would have dedicated years of time and development to the first ever Zelda starring game and then make it just not good. Part of me actually respects and appreciates the fact that, oh, okay, so if we're going to change protagonists for the first time ever, there actually is something cool to be said for changing the gameplay style as well. Otherwise, it's just a Zelda clone with a different skin. You're just not playing as Link, but it's going to be the same kind of game. And I appreciate the fact that in order to make it feel different that we're playing as Zelda, the game is going to play differently. I think that that is, from a creative vision standpoint, really cool. And like I said, I respect it. It makes me excited for it. And so part of me says, for all the people complaining and whining that this isn't what they want and it's bad and it's not what they should have done, part of me wants to say, just chill out and be excited for it because... You know, have some imagination. Be excited for something different. But at the same time, like I've said a few times, part of me also wanted that different version of this game. And so I understand and I want to I want to say that some people's criticisms can be valid. And that is true. Some criticisms are valid. People are allowed to have their own opinions and their own preferences and tastes. 
So I, 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 I guess I feel like my, my general consensus here is if this game isn't for you, then just acknowledge it's not for you and move on. Don't whine and complain about it and say, oh, okay, they went in a direction that's not for me. I'm going to skip it. But for the rest of us, we get to be excited for this new Zelda game that actually freaking stars Zelda. So I'll be curious to hear from you guys what your opinion is on this. This game is divisive, everything around it. So I don't know what the comment section is going to look like and people agreeing or disagreeing with me or saying they love this game or saying they hate this game. And that, you know, for the second game in a row, Aonuma and Nintendo have ruined Zelda. Because some people think that the Breath of the Wild style games have ruined the Zelda franchise, which I do not agree with in any way, shape, or form. Even though I prefer the classic 3D Zelda to the open world style, the open world games, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, to me, are masterpieces, so I have no problems with them. So a lot of people will probably be saying in the comments that they think this is another game that's ruining Zelda because, oh, we're playing as a girl, or, oh, we don't play as a sword just kicking ass. And it's like, I don't know, have some imagination, man. Be a little bit open-minded. If you like Zelda, be open-minded with this new Zelda game, is all I'm saying. Um, or have an approach similar to what I had with games like Super Mario RPG or or Paper Mario or Princess Peach Showtime. I love the Mario Universe games. I love those characters, but I'm not a big turn-based RPG fan, and I'm not really into the minigame style of Princess Peach, so... I don't think those games looked bad, but I just knew they weren't for me. So I said, okay, I'm going to pass and just wait for the next Mario game I want to play and enjoy. Hell, I just got Super Mario Wonder. I freaking loved Mario Wonder. That is a Mario game for me. I just got a game to enjoy. The other ones can be for fans of those games. I'm not offended that Princess Peach Showtime wasn't a game for me. I just moved on and am waiting for the next one. So if you're a Zelda fan and Echoes of Wisdom isn't for you, then just... Pass it by. Let it go by. We just had Tears of the Kingdom. Wait for the next big Zelda game. It's okay to have some patience sometimes. So anyway, I don't mean to end this video with a lecture. I'm not trying to lecture you guys. I'm not your dad. I'm not here to tell you how to be an adult and play the video games you enjoy. It's up to you to figure that out. But that's kind of the, the parting message I want to leave you guys with. I'm excited for Echoes of Wisdom. I'm excited for a 2D Zelda game. And most importantly, I'm excited to play a Zelda. Whatever that looks like, maybe we learn as we get closer to the release with new information that there is a component built into this game where we can do some traditional combat. I would like it to be something where you can, if you can make an echo of a freaking bed or a fish, why can't you make an echo of a sword and just use a sword? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe that exists in this game and they just have chosen not to show that to us yet. So, I don't know. Time will tell. Personally, I'm excited. I know a lot of people hate it, but I can't wait. I think this game is going to be really, really good.